everyone. Hello, Pierre. Hello, Nano. So, Pierre, how is this so-called precautionary principle applied? Whatever the process used, care must be taken to contain the manufactured nanoparticles in all phases of production. Meaning? Well, not only during the particle production phase, but also during storage, transport from one lab to another, characterization, integration in solids, gels, or liquids, and also during equipment maintenance, waste management, and so on. What are the measures to be taken in each phase? The general principle is to avoid exposure whenever possible, or if not, to make it as low as possible. Okay, but in concrete terms, nano. There are four courses of action in this order. Replace, when possible, those particles presumed to be dangerous by others considered less dangerous. Give preference to processes that allow better confinement of particles in liquid rather than powder forms, for example. Organized work so as to reduce or eliminate exposure time. Protect employees and the environment by using different types of equipment. What can be done when handling nanoparticle powder, for instance? to protect staff and preserve the environment. To avoid particles dissemination, six recommendations. Handle the powder inside a glove compartment if possible. Otherwise, use personal protection equipment under a fume hood. Clean equipment and handle waste according to an appropriate procedure. Store and transport powder in a double envelope. Specifically indicate the contents of the product or waste material. Incinerate waste and filter fumes. Are we really certain that our protection equipment is effective? The European project NanoSafe was the first to test various sorts of protective gear. Filtering masks, coats, gloves, etc. To check the effectiveness with aerosols or liquids. I'm surprised that such tiny particles can be filtered. One might think that particles 50 to 100 times smaller than the mesh of a filter could easily pass through. But in fact, the nanoparticles move so fast and so much that a high-efficiency filter blocks them more easily than it does larger particles. That's surprising. Not only employees, but also the environment can be protected by filtering all ventilation exhausts. And by protecting the environment, we also protect the population, right? Precisely. However, to protect the population, we must make sure that consumer products containing manufactured nanoparticles cannot emit a few particles. Thank you, Pierre, for that transition. Precautions to be taken with nanoproducts will be the theme of our next episode.